it is pretty much the crux of our conversation, right? That it is yeah. the issue at hand. Um, as we look at the future of work and where we are today in current state and where we're going to go in the future state, I think we got to look at the past, right? If I remember when I was in high school, right, back in the mid 80s, right, I remember we used to have a lot of vocational training programs. So basically it was hands on vocational training. You would go to school half the day and then the rest of the day, maybe from like, you know, one to four, <laughs> you go to a job where you learn to trade. Um, that has since gone away a lot within the uh, public school systems, probably towards the late 80s, early 90s, it kind of vanished, right? Uh, there were federal uh, cutting sprees that, you know, cut out those vocational trainings that were basically being provided in the in the public school system, right? I think if we re revisit that approach, and again, it is 30 years later, and keeping in mind things comes in cycles, right? 20, 30 years, right? We need to start focusing on, is that a viable option within today's job market, right? <laughs> the way organizations look to recruit talent, to, 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 to retain talent, right? <laughs> Excuse me, and to build talent up. If we look at it from an IT perspective, right? To be quite honest, while I promote higher education, I have my undergrad from DeVry, you know, University in computer science. I also have an MBA in global executive management, and I also have professional certifications. However, in today's market, you really don't need a university degree to get into the job market. Most of the kids that are coming out of high school have the aptitude and the ability to get in the job and learn the job while they work. So basically on the job training, vocational training, right? The companies today are so versatile and nimble and they're training these kids in the way they want them to work. All they need is the aptitude, right? And again, I want to emphasize that I'm not advocating against a, a higher education, you know, a, a bachelor's degree or a, a graduate degree, which builds a solid foundation. However, but most of the skills that are needed are being taught at the companies, right? So I think we need to start looking at what is that workforce development track for these kids in the high schools, right? Getting them interested in different areas and different companies from freshman, you know, uh, uh, their, their, their freshman years in high school and focusing on things like cyber, right? Like data and analytics, artificial intelligence, right? Machine learning, right? In those different areas where they start to develop these aptitudes. So when they get ready to come out of high school, they pretty much got a pathway into a job career. 